hands. Let's stand for another episode. So after last week's episode, I asked you guys, what is one piece of advice you would give your younger self? Because in the episode I had said, So I just want to share that with you. Someone said that one piece of advice they would give is not to care so much about what people think. And honestly, I think that is so true. And it's so funny because, you know, you always are like, wow, I wish I could just tell myself it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't, what so-and-so thinks about me really doesn't matter. And it is, it's true, but you don't see it like in high school. You always want to be liked. You always want to be popular. You always want to hang out with those people. But it doesn't matter. Like, why care? In high school, if you're nerdy, geeky, not the social standard, people don't want to be your friend, it feels like, which isn't true, but you always are trying to fit in. You're trying, oh, she wore a hair like that, I'm going to do it. She wore this outfit. She, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're always trying to fit in. Or the biggest thing I used to do was I wasn't allowed to wear makeup. So I used to sneak makeup. I would buy from Asda, I would buy a pound, it would cost me a pound to get the foundation, I'd put it on the bus, it was awful, it looked orange, uh, with mascara, and then I would take it with a baby wipe and just take it off on my way home on the bus, because all the popular girls wore makeup, but I wasn't allowed to wear makeup, and I wanted to fit in, because I cared about being judged, and I cared about being mocked, but why care? Like, honestly, why care? Because why does it matter? And that even relates into, like, life today, because... What I do now, I don't really care what people think about it. Like, I mean, of course you do because you want people to like your stuff. You want people to like you and it's just so hard because you're never going to fit in. You're not made to fit in. You're made to be your own person. You're made to stand out. You're made to be different because that's what makes you you and that's what makes you unique. And so I think that's a really good... It's hard because as a younger girl, like someone would say that don't care what other people think about you, it doesn't matter, but you're going to. It's just so difficult because like even today, I care about people like in the podcast, like I feel like I want people to like it and so I always care and I, when I used to make my YouTube videos, I mean I still make them, but like when I first started to release them, I was so scared that people weren't going to like them or people were going to think I was weird and I don't want to promote it on my regular Instagram or Facebook because I don't want to be judged and I don't want people to think anything about me. But you know what? It's my life. You only get one life. So live it the hell, however the hell you want to live your life, live it that way because it's your life and only you can make yourself that happy. You're the source of your own happiness. And if you're constantly living for the approval of other people, you are never going to be truly happy within yourself. That is the only way you will ever be truly happy with yourself is if you stop looking for the validation from other people because you're not going to get it you're not the validation comes from you you are happy with yourself in your life and you work on it until you are truly happy and that's how you get it don't depend on others to bring you up on your happiness don't depend on others to build you up do it for yourself because why, why not why does it matter what their opinion is it's not their life they're not living it it's yours so live it for you. Don't love it for other people or other people's opinions and don't care what anybody has to say. Someone thinks you're weird? Okay, I'm weird. Fine. Someone thinks you're the villain? Okay, I'm the villain, but I'm living my life how I want to live my life and that is that. Like, I'm not living it for you to like me. I'm not living it for your happiness. I'm loving it for mine and that's just it. It's like people always say, if I'm the villain in your story, then so be it. I'll be the villain. I'm the wrong one. All right, that's fine. That's your version of me. Because I don't care what you think. Oh, you think I stand out. You think I'm too loud. You think I'm too opinionated. You think whatever you want to think about me. Oh, she's always doing dances or she's always posting on TikTok. Oh, she posts too many videos. Oh my God, you post all the time. Oh my God, you spoke about that. I don't care. Because it's my life and why should it matter? Because all those people that hate and give hate and judge and 
actually care what you're doing, like, just it doesn't matter because the people that it does matter, those are the nice people in your life. Like, it doesn't matter what people think about you because it's you. You're not going to change yourself to be someone else. You're not going to adapt. Like, be yourself and stand out and be different. Don't blend in. Don't fit in with everybody. Be different. That's what makes you you. Another piece of advice someone said they would give their younger self is don't try to rush your success at the expense of your daily happiness. Honestly, I need to hear that because I find myself beating myself up about the fact that this podcast hasn't taken off to the hundreds yet. My YouTube, I don't have a lot of the subscribers yet and I beat myself up about it and I try every single day to sit here and record and I try every single day to edit a YouTube video, get a podcast out, whatever it is, make a TikTok, post on Instagram, like promote and it is so hard to try and do all of that and then I try to do a podcast, I try to do YouTube, I try to do UGC, user generated content, I try to do TikTok, I try to do Instagram, I'm trying to keep a social life, like you cannot do all of it at once so pick one thing, do that successfully, do the next because eventually success will come It'll all come in due time, so like don't rush it just because you want to be successful and then you are run down and burnt out and have nothing left to give and anything else and you're not happy anymore. So don't try to rush the success at the expense of your daily happiness. If it, if it takes away from your daily happiness, like oh I'm going to go home and do this or oh my god I haven't slept because I'm doing this, that and the other, you need to give up one thing just for a little bit until you get a balance. Because you, I don't need to be doing four or five different things. I need to focus on one and put all my effort into it. And that's why there was no episode that one day because I didn't feel good. I was run down. I was trying to do too much and I couldn't give up my all to the podcast and I don't like doing that. I like these episodes to be 110%. Another person said to be more patient and good things take time. And that kind of goes with the other one. Don't rush it. Like, it'll all come in due time. Take your time with it. Make it good. Don't rush stuff. Don't take, like, don't skimp on things. Put your whole effort into it and give it your all. And it'll, ret- it'll reward you in return every single time. Because that's just, that's just how it works. Like, take your time. Put all your effort into it and have patience. It'll come. And someone did say to me the other day, like, I was complaining about my subscribers and how I only have, like, 23. And someone was like, yeah, but you'll watch that number slowly go up. Because I have, I had seven. So it slowly went up. And they were like, and then one day it's just going to keep going and going and going. And it'll just take off like crazy. And you won't even really notice it until all of a sudden you're there. And I'm like, I guess, but, like, why isn't that now? And it's like, well, I've only done this a month and a half. Like, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not like a one-hit wonder. Patience is key. Patience is virtue. And I think everyone needs to remember that sometimes, that patience is really important. I myself need to remember that. I'm awful at it. I have zero patience with a lot of things. And I'm like, I want it now. I want instant gratification. And that's just not, it's just not realistic. It's like reaching for the stars. It's just not, it's not possible overnight. Stuff takes time and good stuff takes time. But in time, it'll all work out. Someone else said um, to stop second guessing yourself and I get that a lot because I, I did second guess myself a lot you know with the podcast and then you always end up kicking yourself in the end like if you see something and you're like oh that was stupid or oh I, w- I don't even know I want to go do that but I don't want to do it because what if I fail what if I look stupid what if someone judges me? Who cares? Do it. Because I guarantee you, if you don't do it, you're going to think about it for a really long time until you do it. And then it's going to be the best thing you ever did. It goes with starting the podcast. I wanted to start one two years ago and I will forever kick myself for not doing it because I didn't think it was going to be good enough. And I think it would take off. What does it matter? Like, I wanted to do it and now I'm doing it two years later. You want to go apply for a new job? You want to go back to school? Don't doubt yourself. Do it. Because guess what? You'll probably be successful and it'll probably work out for you. So you may as well give it a shot. Because if you don't, you're always going to think about it. 
And it's always going to be something in the back of your mind. If it's something that you truly, truly want, it's always going to be there. It's always going to be a thought and you're always going to think about it. So just do it. Do whatever makes you happy and focus on yourself and don't second guess like, oh, what if I don't do that? Because so, like, does it matter at all? It's about you and it's your life. And the last one that we have says to live in the moment and be present. And I have thought about that a lot actually, because sometimes I catch myself being on my phone when I shouldn't be and just not really taking it all in. And like just embrace that moment. Or sometimes I find myself complaining about little things that really don't matter. Like if I'm outside at the beach, I'm like, oh, it's too hot. So what? You're at the beach. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the vibe there. Enjoy who you're with. Enjoy your drink. Enjoy the water. Enjoy the weather. Like, don't take everything for granted. Like I said, you have one life. Live it. Live it to the fullest. Like, don't be so involved with whatever it is on your phone. Like, oh, I have to reply to this person. Oh, let me post this. Just be present. Like, put the phone down and just enjoy what's happening. Now, I get it because sometimes I'm like, oh, I want to record it or I want to take a picture because I want to remember it. That's okay. But like, I'm out at the bar with my fiance and we're having beers. I don't need to be scrolling on Instagram. I don't need to be sitting through TikTok or Twitter or, oh, let me text so-and-so. It doesn't really matter. Like, just be there and enjoy the vibe. Enjoy the place. Enjoy the person you're with. Enjoy the people around you. Enjoy the environment. Like, and just really be there because you'll make better connections with people in the end if you do and it'll probably be the best time of your life like I used to catch myself just out of like sheer I don't even know just if I felt uncomfortable I didn't want to just be standing there like a glue pot looking so I would be on my phone and so now at any given time I just look at my phone which isn't great because I don't need to be on my phone I should enjoy what we're doing I should be taking it in because like Let's enjoy it. Let's see what people are talking about. Let's interact with the people around us. And I just feel like there's so many ways you can get distracted on your phone. You can miss such good things. You can miss what people are saying. Like my fiance, I hate to call you out there, but, but he is on his phone a lot of the time. And he misses what I say a lot of the time. And I'm like, Put your phone down because if you didn't have your phone down and you were actually present in the conversation, you would know because I can guarantee whatever you're looking at is not that important because it's usually Instagram or a funny video about a dog and like, yeah, it's cute, but it'll be there. Like, you have one life. Don't spend it with your head stuck in a phone. Don't spend it worrying about other people's opinions or being scared because you're going to be judged or rushing and having no patience. Like, just enjoy it. Enjoy the life you were given and enjoy what you have right now. I seen this quote the other day and it says that you're often stressed about the future, forgetting that you are in the moment that you already prayed for. Like you used to dream about this day where you would be at something and then you're too busy stressing about the next thing because you're constantly trying to move on, which is fine. Like you're constantly trying to do something else and oh, now I have to do this. And I get it because I'm a planner, always looking ahead. But enjoy the moment you're in right now. Enjoy this season of life. Like, I am constantly stressing about the wedding and trying to get this done and then, oh, work. And then, okay, next week we have this and the week after that. Okay, but what about right now? What are we doing right now? What's important? What's fun? Let's make it fun. Let's enjoy it. Like, the wedding planning. Okay, I'm stressed about the wedding. I'm stressed about this payment. Oh, well, this is coming out then. Like, oh, what about this? this, this. Let's enjoy... The being engaged part, let's enjoy not being married just yet and getting to plan our wedding how we want it and have who we want there and the fun of picking out the flowers and all of that instead of what am I going to do next? And it's like the same when I'm planning my week and I look at my schedule and I'm like, okay, maybe I'll go dancing on Saturday. So then I have to do this, that and the other or, oh, I'm going to go get my nails done and then it's going to be Father's Day and then I'm going to go here. But it's like, Okay, well, what are we doing this weekend? All right, yeah, my parents are coming over. Let's enjoy that and let's not worry about next weekend or tomorrow. Like, 
this weekend my parents are coming over and I'm already like okay and then on the Sunday I'm going to go do my tattoo removal and then I need to remember to go to bed at a decent time because I have to get like just enjoy what's happening enjoy and spend that time with those people and it'll probably make life a lot less stressful feel like and a lot more happy and I feel like that's what a lot of people talk about on social media is like to romanticize your life I don't know if I could do that I don't know if I could romanticize everything but I could definitely stop stressing a little bit and it'll probably all fall into place just about like thinking for the future like just be in the moment and think about the moment that's happening stop looking for the next most exciting thing because the part of life you're in right now is something that you always look forward to and I don't think I realised that until I actually sit and think about it. I'll sit there and I'm like, oh, well, then we'll be married and then it'll be, oh, it'll be so nice, husband and wife. And then, oh, the minute the wedding's over, we have to plan the honeymoon. I'm like, what? What? Just enjoy each other. Enjoy the newlywed feeling and all of that and just let it sit and sink. Like, that's so exciting. Like right now, like I'm like, oh, I can't wait for the wedding, but I totally skipped over a bachelorette party. Excuse me, I'm so excited for that. My bridal shower, you know how nice that's going to be? I'm trying on my wedding dress this weekend. Like every time I put that dress on, I want to cry. That is a beautiful moment. And instead of sitting there, like when I bought my dress from the store, I remember being like, okay, now I need to go take it and get altered. How about just be in that moment of look at me in this dress? Because you're not going to wear it that often, let's be honest. I'm going to put it on to, on Sunday for something. I'm going to give it to the tailor and then I'm going to wear it on my wedding day. That's three times. Three more times I'll get with that dress. I don't want to rush it. And I know everyone says on your wedding day, flies by. But I just want to be so present and just take in the whole thing. And I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to slow life down a little bit and not rush everything. But sometimes it just feels like I'm constantly trying to go to the next thing. And I just want to soak in the moment I'm in right now. Because, let's be honest, I've always dreamed of living with my fiancé and getting married and doing this life together. When now we have two dogs. And I just, I want to appreciate it a little bit more sometimes. And I think we all forget that, you know, you're at the point in life that you've worked so hard to get to. So appreciate it and enjoy it for more than a second about thinking about what's next and what you need to do the next day. Oh, I need to go to bed early because I need to get up for work. Or you could sit and spend some time with someone and watch a movie. Or have a nice meal. Or go to the bar. Or go to the beach. Or go to the movies. Or do something fun and just enjoy life. Just because it's life. You know? Just enjoy what you do and enjoy where you are. But I think we lose track of that sometimes and I think it's really hard. But that's okay. It happens. But it's also nice to be centered again and just, okay, yeah, take a breath. Like, and realize that. I'm going to be putting more questions on the uh, Instagram, so make sure you guys follow there so you can answer and then you can maybe hear your answer. Or I want you guys to ask questions and maybe I'll have answers too. I don't know. Let's, we should do that. So, if you guys go and check out the Instagram, it's Girl Do It For You podcast and I'll ask questions on there and you guys can respond and let me know what you guys want to hear. Thank you guys for listening to another episode. Bye honeys.